Moon lovers, Daisy Love Moon here with Sha La La. Yay! On this blue moon, the mm -hmm. second full moon in March. Um, this moon is in Libra. Um, we're 10 degrees in Libra. And this moon also has a lot of planets in the cardinal signs. Um, and that means that only, you know, some people are maybe affected uh, emotionally and maybe even drastically by these planets being bungeed up in these signs, which is Cancer, Libra, Libra, the moon is in Libra, Aries, Aries, Capricorn, Capricorn, ding, 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 ding. That's it. All of them. That's all of them. Yeah. So, you know, if you are one of those signs, I think this moon may be affecting you in a different way. I think you may be finding balance. balance. Yeah, you, you need to find a balance in your life. You know, maybe uh, things are going a little crazy and you just need to get back down to reality. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Get back to your balance life. That's right. And so we're going to read Libra first. As you know, we shuffle the cards three times. Well, your fortune, and we're going to be seeing what's going on with Libra, who is one of these signs that is affected by this moon. The moon of change. A little bit of chaos. Just remember that change is good. It brings a fresh perspective and brings you back to being grounded in your reality. Sometimes we find ourselves living in other people's realities and I think this is a time for us to really focus on what we need, especially these suns. All right. Dos. Dos. Come on, spirit, speak to us. What's going on with Libra? on this full moon. And what a crazy moon cycle. I mean, since January, we've had two full moons in yes. January, none in February, none. and now we have two full moons in March. It's already been a year of change and balance. All right, one more time. All right, let's see what the spirits have to say for Libra. All right, we're going to set these right over here, and we're going to see what's going on right here. All right, to your house, to yourself, to your wish, what you do expect, what you don't expect, and what is sure to come true. To your house, to yourself, to your wish, what you do expect, what you don't expect, and what is sure to come true. To your house and to yourself. All right, we're gonna draw some runes on it. Ooh. To your house. To yourself. To your wish. What you do expect. What you don't expect. And what is sure to come true. All right, to your house, to your house we have messages of money, messages. money and love, and there's a fair complexed female. Yes. 
And this could be you, Libra, or if you're a male, this could be a female in your life, a sandy blonde hair, blue eye, green eye kind of girl. Um, and she's bringing love and money. She's bringing love, money, and gifts. Your ruin is gifts. So, I mean, this person, whoever she's in your life, is bringing positive messages and uh, is a welcome person, I see. Yeah, good for you. And to yourself, to yourself. Let's take a long trip. Trip? And some money and love, family mm -hmm. love. Oh, it's a little yes. upside down, so there might be some little bit of confusion. Maybe some trouble in the family with, with the loved one, close to one, or just confusion, but... And your ruin is harvest. I mean, right now, to yourself, I mean, maybe you feel accomplished and you're accomplishing things and the harvest is coming through for you. And like she said, there's travel, money, and love. It's a family kind of love. And, you know, you might be visiting family or something like that is going on. And, you know, you're having to face your emotions on certain levels with people that you're close to. Yeah. Okay, to your wish. To your wish, we have love, love and money. money. Celebration. Uh, really, things are going A your ten way. of love and money. I mean, yeah. boom, boom, boom. And your ruin is fortune. I mean, you really are fortunate. You're going through a fortunate time. And, uh, you know, like I said, this, this moon is really going to affect you emotionally and you're really going to come into a balance with yourself. But you do expect love. Love, oh, love, love. Upside down heart over the purest love of all. Love. You expect this. You're going to have an opening. Um, there's a lot of love with the person in your life. And, uh, you know, you're really going to face maybe a moment of, of recollection of, you know, what you guys are doing, where you're going. But you know, you're gonna have an opening and I still, I don't see anything negative with that. You really are going to have the ability to get your way with this relationship. It's gonna fall into place. I agree. All right, what you don't expect? Money. Money okay. and a dark complected male in your life. And you really think you're rolling the dice cup. Your ruin is the dice cup over this relationship. And it's gonna come out, you're not gonna expect it. Coming out of nowhere, you know? And this person really is gonna come in. He's looking after you, bringing money and, you're going to maybe take a gamble with this person. And we sure to come true. Love, a proposal, isn't that a proposal? A proposal on a whole new beginning. Yeah. I mean, your life is really going to change and transform and... You may be moving. You're going places. Yeah, for I mean, sure. Start fresh. You have fresh. proposals coming for you. I mean, if you're going through a big changing circumstance, I, I'm telling you right now, I myself am going through that right now. And uh, it, it's that absolute in some ways. And this should come true. There's going to yeah. be change in your life. A whole new beginning. And proposals. And your ruin is the sun. You are going to be enlightened by all of these experiences and really come into your own. That's what I see. And that's just how I see it. I'm Daisy Levin. Peace, Peace love. Woods Talk Bell Bottoms. We're out of here.